So I already did my eye makeup and my brows just because I like to do that before foundation. I just find that it's easier and it's just like built into my routine like that. But the first product I'm going to be putting on my face is this Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream All Over Miracle Oil. And when I got sent this in a PR package, I immediately put it on my Instagram story because Kim Kardashian actually uses this product in her skincare routine. I think it was like a blog post on like BuzzFeed Pop Sugar or something like that. Um, but I was really psyched to get this so I'm gonna spritz like one little maybe like a one, one and a half little spritz on my hand and Put it all over my face, and I'm gonna be using this as a primer today You can also use this product all over your body, but today we're just gonna use it as face primer So now for the exciting part is the Fenty foundation I just got this yesterday at Sephora and Mall of Millennia and they were out of like a lot of the colors and some of the colors were out of the testers too so they couldn't even match like some people. I was really lucky because I got the last one in my color and my color is 370 and I'm pretty sure it's called like warm. Um, this foundation says it is medium to full coverage for all, long wear and light as air. When the Sephora lady put it on me, I feel like she was just like color matching me and not like really letting me like feel it out for myself because she literally took like a concealer brush and just like swiped it on my face like as if I would be able to tell like if I liked the foundation so I actually just took the foundation and just started like playing around with it myself but I have not yet put it all over my face so today is going to be like the official first impression of this foundation so I just took this product out of the package and I'm obsessed with the way it looks I'm really loving how a lot of the packaging like nowadays has this like matte like gloss look like it's like clear but it's like this matte look if that makes sense i almost don't want to open it because it's so pretty and i don't want to get it dirty but here we go so i kind of wanted to try a beauty blender and this foundation brush it's from sephora and i think it's the flawless airbrush if i'm not mistaken um but yeah i just wanted to see which one would be better i'm thinking the beauty blender is obviously just gonna like blend out like all the streakiness of this brush but i do like this brush sometimes so i might try to apply the foundation with this brush first and then go in with the beauty blender it's funny because i went to mac yesterday and i was about to get a refill of my studio fix fluid and then i remembered oh my god like fenty foundation is actually a thing like let me go run to sephora and check it out for myself and i'm really happy i did because it is pretty affordable it was like 34 dollars in total i'm pretty sure and it has the pump and max foundation the studio fix fluid at least you have to buy the pump separately so it adds to the price which is stupid it should just come with a pump already um but yeah i really like how there is a pump so right off the bat this foundation is pretty liquidy it's a little bit more liquidy than the studio fix fluid but when it applies to my skin it honestly doesn't feel like i'm wearing much foundation which i love because i never have liked like the feeling of foundation i think it's like really icky and i think this color is like a really good match Yesterday before bed, I literally put my face like in this moisturizing mask like of every type of cream I own because for some reason my skin has been extra dry lately and especially on my eyelids too, which is weird, but I get that sometimes. Um, so I use like some Cetaphil cream and some Elizabeth Arden like night cream. I don't know, I was just going ham on the hydration. Another thing that really helps me out when I'm putting on foundation is the fact that I wax my face because I have so much peach fuzz in like this area and just like my sideburns and stuff. So when I wax my face, I find that the foundation goes on so much smoother. So one of my first impressions of this foundation is that it's definitely not as full coverage as the Studio Fix Fluid being that this is like the first layer. I don't think it looks super awful, but if I had a lot more scarring on my face, then I'm not sure that I would cover it up like the Studio Fix Fluid does. But I am gonna go in with the second layer. I think it looks really pretty and just like natural and just like glowing right now. Um, but yeah, I think the second layer I'm gonna do with my beauty blender just to make sure I blend everything out. And maybe it's just that I'm not adding enough product. Maybe I need to be adding a little bit more, so I'll do that. I honestly really want to get into color correcting, so if you guys have any tutorials that you guys love, then let me know in the comments down below, and then I can go watch it and learn more about it. 
So I'm done with the foundation and I'm going to do everything else off camera. But this is what it looks like so far. And I think after building it up a little bit, it definitely did cover some of my scars. I'm really excited to see if it stays on all day and like what it looks like throughout the day because it looks really dewy and like beautiful right now. But I'm not sure how it's going to hold up during the day. So we'll see about that. So this is a complete look and I really do like this foundation. Like I said, I wish it was a little bit more full coverage just like my MAC one but I think the finish of it is really nice and it feels like I don't have any foundation on which is the best part about this foundation so I will have a direct link to the foundation down below if you want to check it out yourself hey guys I'm back from tailgating and that was like four to five hours in the sun of central Florida and I think my foundation sat really well on my face I was like asking around to get like opinions after tailgating I personally think it's better than a lot of foundations like usually foundation on my nose will like break up and like look really like gross and just like my makeup's melting off my face. I don't see that happening on my nose with this foundation. And just overall, I think it looks pretty good. Like it looks exactly what it looked like before I went tailgating. So I think that says a lot about this foundation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Oh, you're using it? Oh shit. I literally remember when I was like your skin is perfect so I don't want to touch it. Oh. It looks it literally looks good, yeah. Ah! What do you use? The new Fenty the one. Fenty? The Fenty the foundation. Face? Wait, is it the foundation, or yeah. Beyonce. It Rihanna. Really it looks really good. Thanks. Wait, really Wait, do you like it, Sonali? Yeah, I I love full coverage foundation and it's not that full coverage, but like other than that, it's really nice. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.